I believe that it has achieved the greatest PR coup for Israel to distract the world's attention from the charge of potential stroke plausible genocide by Israel that we heard from the ICJ. The timing is incredibly suspect. On Israel's part, I believe they're saying, we can reduce bombing, we can just starve them out. It is an absolute disgrace for all the nine governments. It is the lowest that our UK government has ever sunk with regards to morality, integrity or leadership. And just finally in closing, (laughs) we need to understand that as far as I know, the alleged information gained, which has summarily dismissed these Palestinians without investigation, without charge, was gained potentially by torture, which would be in total opposition to every law of the land or on this earth. It is cynical, it is unethical, it is evil, and I think our government should hang their head in shame. What do you think their hope is? If, if in the highly unlikely event of Rishi Sunak talking to proper journalists about this instead of about banning vapes for children today, you say, what's the plan? What is it designed to achieve? What do you think he would say? Well... I think it, they have said that they stand with Israel, and I think we will fall with Israel as well, unfortunately. Mm. But I also believe that when the ICJ has made it clear that within three weeks or less by now, that Israel is to report back on how they have met the regulations, especially to increase aid to the refugees, what will Israel's excuse be? Well, the world community has reduced our aid, the, the aid coming in, so we're doing the best we can. Good God, I hadn't so thought of that. we are complicit, totally complicit. It is a disgrace. We have sat by and watched children being murdered, blown to bits, and we say that we're a Christian country and we endorse it. How would Rishi Sunak feel if one of those children happened to be his? He's a father, he has a wife. How would he feel if this was happening to him? It is an absolute disgrace. It makes me ashamed. Absolute shame, not just of our lack of humanity, but our lack of moral high ground and conscience. 